concertina fish. Good morning guys. Um, today we're talking about one of those oddities, a species that's probably not a lot of people have caught, but it's one of those that we get a lot of requests for. So similar to species that we covered in the past, uh, Facebook, you often see this coming up, please ID, please ID this fish, caught this there, caught that there. Um, it's the concertina fish. Now, scientific name, nice little rhyming one, uh, Drapana longimana. They go under a whole host of names. Um, the club guys often call them uh, a bura or kes, because being a concertina, looks like a thing. With a shout out to Rikus and Snotkop, because uh, I'm a oaf and a bura pompi. It goes the same for this. You've got a silverfish, very, very flattened. So when you turn him, when you look at him from the side, he's a very large exposed fish. As soon as you turn him that way, uh, so front on, very, very, very thin. So they've been flattened uh, horizontally. Now, your um, overall looks of the fish, as I said, very, very shiny, uh, deep this way. Uh, you've got a similar, almost bream-like shape to him, but a bit more extended uh, vertically. Then, very, very large eye. He's got a protruding mouth, and that's where he gets his name from, the concertina fish. His mouth actually extends like a concertina. So he can go out and come back, out and come back. And he uses that obviously for feeding, similar to a grunter, but a lot more extended. So a grunter can go a very short amount, concertina, double that at least. Now, where are you going to find them? Um, pretty much our entire coast. They've got, uh, they like to feed on benthic organisms, so stuff all along the bottom. And you get them, they, they generally congregate around harbour mouths and, and areas where we get a bit of change in currents and things like that, where they can, where you get a sort of a lull, where he doesn't have to worry too much about, about finning around. Now, uh, they aggregate sort of in, in about spring, that's when they do all their spawning, so that's when you get most of your catches occurring. And um, in terms of actually targeting them, you're looking at small baits, because they, their mouth is quite small uh, compared to their size, and the, the stuff that they normally feed on is your smaller benthic, uh, like the little crabs that you see in the rocks, and the little amphipods, little squids, things like that, they're going to be, be feeding on, and also worms. Uh, so small baits, chocker and prawn are going to be your two main ones. And then you'll actually see these fish before you, you catch them. Very similar to stone bream, you walk along and you'll see these big silver flashes. And unless it's a big game fish, like a kingy or something that's moving through, you'll see it in the same spot, feeding around, moving around. And they, because of their large size, they're very easy to spot because it's normally in your clearer water up at Vidal, Richards Bay and even near off Durban. So generally you see them before you, you actually uh, start targeting them and then you can narrow down the areas that you're going to be fishing. So on those little ledges, rocky reef type areas, you can then put your smaller baits and it's not a surefire way of targeting this specific species because you're going to get a host of other species with it. So for the guys liking to, ta liking to catch a whole lot of species, this is one of those fish that you could come across if you're targeting a whole lot of the smaller reef, reef species. So yeah, the concertina fish, um, hopefully you guys will get a few less ID requests for them and everybody gets to learn something new. Cheers.